What's this sound? Running toilet. I see this all the time. I'm Graham, expert plumber with Urban Piping. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a running toilet using only two tools and a towel. Let me show you how it's done. All right, let's get this tank off and see what we have. Looks like we've got our fill valve right here and our flapper down there. These are the only two parts you are going to need to change to fix this running toilet. First, we're going to want to identify the water isolation valve to the toilet. Once we've identified it, we're going to turn that off. Also, it's very important to turn off the whole house water supply as these valves are most likely to pass. I've already done that, so we're going to move on to the next step of draining the toilet. Next step, we're going to want to empty out the tank completely of all the water using our unique trunk system developed by a plumber in Calgary. So what we do is we stick this right in the tank and we take a big long suck out of our system, keep going, go into the toilet, shove that down the drain, and then push all the water down. That keeps on pushing the water right into the drain and not into the bowl. A couple steps like this and you'll have the entire tank drained. Now that the tank is drained completely, let's start with removing the hardware. We've got our flapper and our fill valve. Now that the tank is emptied, the flapper is out, we're gonna remove the fill valve. Again, make sure that the water supply is off. We're gonna come underneath here, and with your hands, you should be able to take off this water supply. Now, if you noticed, I've got the towel on the ground right there, and that's where this tool comes into effect because we're gonna have a little bit of water droppage coming down from the top. All right, so once everything's loosened up with your wrench, you can unscrew the mechanism holding the fill valve down here. And once that's completely done, give me a second. we can pull out this fill valve. All right, once we've taken out the fill valve and the flapper from the tank and everything's ready to go, we've now properly identified our new fill valve and our new flapper. We're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put this inside the old fill valve's position. Once it's in, we're gonna properly adjust it to the right water line marked by the toilet on the fill line to the fill line on the new fill valve. After that, we're going to come underneath and put on the nut here. Once that is secured, we're going to then put in the flapper, which we'll put right on to the old spot right here. And then we're going to start adjusting it according to the handle. Now that everything in the tank's been set and adjusted accordingly, our last and final step is to attach the main water supply to the fill valve again turn on the main for the house, and then turn on the last water piece here. Now, at any point during this video, if you've experienced any kind of troubles or problems, I absolutely implore you to call a professional plumber. I recommend Urban Piping, but hey, that's just me. 